DIY high-end lighted marble decor made possible in a rental. If we hold ourselves together, we'll go far. Hey guys, Yudif Essentials here. I'm going to be using this section here in my apartment to recreate some high-end looking decor trend that's hot right now. Lighted marble. These make the kitchen area or the bar area look super pretty. So I'm going to show you guys what I did to recreate that lovely gorgeous look right here in my apartment. The first thing that I thought of was transparency. So I got this transparent screen from Lowe's. It is smooth on one side and has a certain texture on the other side, which is okay. Like I said before, I got mine from Lowe's, but this is also sold at Home Depot. Just so you know, these kinds of screens come with different textured patterns. So whichever one you choose is going to work just fine as long as it's transparent. I picked two because adding two together is going to fit the size of where I would like to cover. I'll be joining these two screens together with the transparent tape. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to be using a contact paper that I got from Walmart. Now this is the one that I picked up, but then I also picked this one because I wasn't sure if I was going to use the other pattern. But as I was looking at both of them, I realized that the darker one, when it's going to be mounted, would have a flowing lava look, especially when the lighting will be inside. I'll be applying this to the screen. And because it's not enough to cover the entire screen, when I'm done with this whole line, I'm going to be cutting just the right amount that I need to complete the bottom part of the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and add wood to all the four sides.
Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to turn it over and attach LED strip lighting at the back. I'm using the LED strip lighting that's 20 feet long. I will use just one pack of this LED strip lighting because this is the perfect length for my project. I just love these LED strips because it comes with the remote to make it easy to turn the lights on and off and you can also change the colors. The strips are self-adhesive, which makes it super easy to attach them to the wood. What I've just made is going to be mounted to the wall using command strips. Now with command strips, it is super easy to have what you made mounted on the wall and easy to remove it as well without causing damage to the wall. What I just made is not really heavy, so I'm going to be cutting these into two. After mounting this and putting the lights on, I noticed the attachment that I made here is showing. So I'm going to go carefully with an X-Acto knife to take off the side that's overlapping. You can still see the line, but it is definitely better than it was before. The designs and the shape that I have on the contact paper is not too dark. That's why it turned out like this. Now you can see the adapter, right? Now that kind of bothered me, but from afar, it's going to be hard to see that. The remote makes it easy to turn the lights on and off and to change the colors to suit any event that might be going on at the time, or even just simply changing the colors to suit your mood. The bar section that was bare has now come alive with lighting. Now you can use different kinds of contact paper that's gonna give you a very interesting pop of designs. Now, because I got this from Walmart and it is exactly what I wanted, I'm okay with this. But if you want a larger and a more popping design, just change the contact paper into something that's more bold and beautiful. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.